Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the CTU Lions Dynasty. Your Lions sit here at 4 and 1, number 17th ranked in the country right now. 2 and 0 in conference play. And right now, we are the only undefeated team in the conference, at least on our side. We're there with Iowa State. And Oklahoma State is undefeated on their side. So only three undefeated teams remain. But Oklahoma State has kind of a tougher schedule. So I don't think they're going to remain undefeated. Right now, Cincinnati is right behind us. They are number 23 in the nation at 5-1. West Virginia is 4-1. They are also in the top 25. TCU is usually always there, but not this year, as they have a couple of injuries which have derailed their season a little bit. But looking at us, we are pretty good. Sitting here, David Potter has nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Livenhauser has come around as a freshman running back and really taken the reins. And our receiving core has actually improved since the first couple of games where they were dropping a lot of balls. Now everybody's kind of getting the lion's share. Nobody's really taking everything over. It's kind of been a team experience here on offense. And then on defense, we have a lot of good players at the top, led by Smoke Wyatt. 14 tackles for loss, double more than the other next player, who is Joseph Cross Crawford Jr. and Adam Scheel. He has a sack as well. Lexington leads our team in sacks. He is a senior this year. The captain will be missed next year, so we want to definitely soak all of it in as we have it here. And we have compiled a lot of sacks through the first five games, and we also have seven interceptions, which is a lot so far. TCU, like I said, comes into this game banged up. Davis, their starting quarterback, is out for the season. Brad Price, who has been a very good back versus us the last couple of years, he's out with a broken collarbone This just this week. He'll return next week. And then their starting right guard is out for the next six weeks. There are some major drop-off issues from Josh Oliver to Davis. I mean, look at this. Two touchdowns, nine interceptions. I don't think I've ever seen a – ratio that bad in NCAA football 14 at all then they lean on the running game Eric Stratton is taking over for uh, Davis and Price so we will have to see what this TCU team looks like we are on the road in Texas so we will have to get it done in another in another Big 12 game we initially thought this would be a doubleheader episode but I want to focus on TCU because this is usually a rivalry a semi-rivalry for us they always give us a good game so here is Josh Oliver. He starts it out with a read option. That one picks up nine yards. Second and one from the pocket. Facing pressure throws to the right side. And he's got Clark pushed out of bounds by Wilkins. But how did he avoid this sack? Lexington was right in his face and Oliver gets rid of it. So first and 10 now running a jet sweep fake. This time Oliver keeping the option. And he picks up 10. Now, he's not really a mobile quarterback, but they are running this read early on. Maybe try to throw us off. Here's a second and inches throw, and that one is caught. Justin Miller for a gain of 18. First and 10 now, running the option again. Oliver avoids a tackler and picks up about a gain of 12. It's a first down run, and how about this TCU offense? Three for 31. Now they're at the one. Here is another option play, this time pitching to Stratton. And he stopped in the backfield. A lot of guys were there. Alec Robinson also was in the backfield as that brings it to a third and goal. So here we go. Can we stop this long drive? Handoff, Stratton. Nobody's home. Untouched. Touchdown. Eric Stratton gets in. And TCU on the board right away. Coming back to this game is Darian Bernard. He's been hurt for the last few weeks. He returns at returner. And here he is, the freshman running back, takes it from the back of the end zone, past the 30 to the 40, to the 45, and steps out of bounds at the 48. Good way to return here, as now we start out this field position with a great spot. Here we go, second and 10 now. Here is David Potter rolling to the right side. He's gonna throw on the run to the freshman, Darren Baker, six foot six. He's having a pretty good freshman season. But it's kind of been a team effort so far. Here's a throw to the right side. That one's caught Kentrell Craft. His 17th catch of the game of the season goes for a first down. First and 10 handoff. Darian Bernardi picks up a gain of two. 
as that brings it to a second and eight. Here's a quick throw to the right side. The pressure was in his face. Potter gets rid of it. It's a gain of 15 yards for the first down. Because now here we are close to the 25. Handoff, Livenhauser. That is going to be a gain of nothing for his first carry of the game. Third and 10 now at the 25. Potter rolls the left side, throws that way to the sideline. It's Jackson. Jackson probably having the best start of his career to a season. That's his first catch of the game, his 17th catch of the year. Here is Libenhauser with a counter play to the left side. That's a loss of one yard. Ryan Willis is there for the stop. Third and goal now. Under center, pitching out to the left side. It's Libenhauser. It's a chase to the pylon. Touchdown, CTU. Good start here for both teams on offense. We'll see if we can make a stop on defense, but it's an excellent start to this game. 7-7 seven, seven game now. Here is Oliver running the read option, and he keeps it for about a gain of seven in the first down. How about Oliver, a pure pocket quarterback? He's just taking over right where Davis left off. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That is going to be caught by Nate Givens for a gain of 13 yards for the first down. Could this be Oliver's breakout game? He's thrown nine interceptions so far. Here's a throw to the left side in that one. Possibly could have been picked off if Chris Washington would have went up with two hands, but it's incomplete instead. Third and 10, Oliver, quick throw. Miller stopped. Uganda Okafor is there for the tackle, and they will have to punt this one away, and now we have a chance to take this lead. David Potter back out onto the field. He rolls to the right side away from the pressure. That's going to be Darren Baker who catches it on the sideline. It's a gain of 12 for his second catch of the game. That gets us into the second quarter. Here is Potter now rolling to the left side. He's got options. He throws to the left side. That's caught Flint Steele. It's a first down. Gain of 34 yards. David Potter, 7 of 8 to start this game. He is very, very accurate throwing the football. And he shows as we run the football here with Frank Law. And that one will be a gain of five for the senior back. His first carry of the game. Third and five now. Potter in the pocket. Throw to the right side. Livenhauser. That is knocked out of his hands. And that one will be incomplete. We will have to settle for the field goal here to make it 10 to 7. But we come away with points on that drive as now here comes TCU back out onto the field. Here is Stratton on a draw play. That's an excellent stop in the backfield. Jamarcus Lexington and Smoke Wyatt get credit for the tackle. Second and 11. Here is Oliver throwing across the middle. That's going to be Miles who has the first down. Gain of 12 for one of their slot receivers. Six of eight for Josh Oliver. Here he runs the option. This time, not going to work. That's what happens when a pure pocket passer tries to run the option. He gets smacked like that. Lexington, loss of four, second and 14. Another handoff. This is Eric Stratton. He gets a couple of those yards back. That still brings it to a third and long here as they run the screen pass out to the right side. Stratton gets it. And look at James Wilkins breaking the block, shedding it away and getting to the running back, Eric Stratton, holding them up before the first down, and they have to punt this one away. Here is Potter now facing a blitz. He gets out of the pocket and picks up enough for the first. They sent a blitz right up the middle. It looked like it was a linebacker who came in. Ends up being a first down scramble. Here is Potter now. Look at the pressure right up the middle. He tries to get away and throw this one out of bounds but the pressure gets to him. It's a loss of 13 yards. Wow. Third and 23 now. Here is Potter running Flint Steel in motion. He throws deep across the field and that one's knocked away Sean Little. And TCU forces the punt. As now here comes Oliver back out onto the field running Givens in motion. And here with three minutes to go in the first half, he throws across the middle. That one's caught Nate Givens. It's a gain of nine. Fresh set of downs here. They're across the 50 already. Oliver moves in the pocket, throws this one away. Nobody was open. Incomplete. Eight of 11 for this game for Josh Oliver, bringing it to a second and, and 10. And look at Oliver keeping it again. They are keeping us on our toes running the football. Third and three now. Oliver 
Looks like the offensive lineman did not know the snap count, and it's going to be a false start. Back to the 48, third and eight here. Oliver throws to the sideline. It's going to be caught anyway for a gain of 13 yards to Paul Miles. First down. So here is Oliver again, fresh out of downs. Throws the wheel route. That's caught by Nate Givens. It's a gain of 19 yards. I almost said 18 yards, Nate Givens. And now they're inside the five. First and goal, handoff. Stratton throws off a defender. It's a touchdown, four yards out. How about this TCU running attack today? It's now 14 to 10. So here we are before halftime, a minute 20 to go. The first pass out to left side. It's Flint Steel. He gets free, touchdown. Right away, David Potter with the accuracy. This is his calling card. Flint Steel just wide open on the fade route, one on one with the safety. And Flint Steele's gonna win in a foot race every day of the week right there. And now we take the lead right back just on one play. A minute to go here in the first half. Oliver in the pocket, he throws to the right side. That's caught by Givens again. He's found him more than any other receiver today. It's a first down. 56 seconds to go. One timeout remaining for TCU. Oliver goes down. It's a sack. Bo Rocky gets to him. An offensive lineman actually picks that one up. It's a loss of eight. That ball absolutely flew out of the quarterback's hands. Josh Oliver rushes to the line. He throws to the left side, and it's caught again. This one is a big-time gain of 26 to Justin Miller. Wow, what a connection. And now it's inside the 25, 33 seconds to go. Another throw to the sideline. This is going to be caught. It's Miller again. A gain of 18. Now they're inside the 10. After a huge strip sack by Bo Rocky, two big plays, and they're inside the 10-yard line. Here is Oliver throwing to the end zone. Caught. What a drive. Touchdown. Josh Oliver came into this game with nine interceptions, and he's got himself in the lead here. On the next drive, here's a throw to the right side. That one is picked off. Potter just trying to do something before half. Only nine seconds to go, so he had to throw that one downfield. I don't blame him. But now TCU has a chance at one last Hail Mary. Oliver loads up, throws this one deep. It doesn't make the end zone. It's tipped around, and it hits the ground. And it's going to be a 21-17 to game going into halftime. The 2-3 and three TCU team will try to upset CTU. So here we go in the second half. We have definitely played pretty well on offense. We'll see if we can replicate that on defense as here is a nice throw to the right side. That is caught. Kentrell Kraft with a big time catch and run. Now at the 50, here is a handoff to the left side. That is gonna be a gain of three. Livenhauser only seven carries for 11 yards so far. There's been a couple of games where our run game has just been shut down. So we've had to throw the ball more. Here is Potter tucking and running, and he gets hit hard. The ball is on the ground, picked up by TCU. They force a fumble on Potter. If we would have waited a second longer, maybe the running back was going to go up the field. But here we are on defense. Here's a stop in the backfield, a fumble recovery, but they go and take another look at this one. It looks like the running back's knee is down. So no turnover right there. Third and seven. Now at the 49, screen pass again to Stratton. He gets stopped, but he breaks the tackle and goes free down the sideline to the 20. Tackle at about the 16. Oh, the boy, there's a flag on the play. This is coming all the way back to the 32-yard line. Wow. Third and 21, Josh Oliver rolls, throws that way. Caught by Givens. They get 16 of those yards back. It's a fourth and five. And they will line up to punt, but no, they will go for it. The punter's going to throw the football, and it's going to be dropped. Albert Hill, the punter, threw an absolute dot, but it looked like he may have saw footsteps on that one, and he lets that go right through his hands. So here is CTU back out onto the field. It's kind of weird to say TCU and CTU in the same game. Here's a handoff, Joshua Livenhauser. Going to be a gain of nine yards. David Potter hands off again. Livenhauser, finally some big gains on the run. 
It's going to be a first down. And now here we go, play action, trying to throw this team off. Here's a quick throw, and this is Stan McDaniels into the game. I love to get all of our tight ends involved. That's one of my favorite things to do in NCAA 14, getting the tight ends in the game. Potter rolls to the right side. This time picks up nine. Finally a drive put together here in the second half. So here we are at about the 12. Handoff, Livenhauser up the middle. It's going to be about a gain of four on the right hash. That brings it to a third and five. We'll see if we use the rest of the field. Potter under center, throws to the running back. That's uh, Darian Bernard who has it. And he gets stopped just short of the first down marker. Fourth and inches, we go to our huddle, bring in Livenhauser. He gets the carry, and he falls forward. Touchdown. We actually call a timeout right there to get uh, Livenhauser back into the game, and it works. It's going to be a three-point lead once again in CTU's favor. So here is Josh Oliver throwing to the right side, and that one is plucked out of the air. It's picked off by James Wilkins. Man, that was an insane interception. He goes up and just takes it away on the sideline. It's like he didn't even see the receiver there. He just went higher than him and snagged it. What an athletic play. That play is going to be probably on You Got Moss. Here is a handoff, and that is Darian Bernard, the true freshman. But a block in the back will bring this carry all the way back to the 45. 3rd and 19, Potter just trying to do something. He runs the football. He tried to throw that deep downfield, instead spun, and it's only a gain of four. And TCU gets the ball right back after the punt. What a game. Every single game we play TCU, it's always one of these close games, back and forth. Here is Adam Shield with a nice tackle in the backfield, loss of one. Second and 11, we are well into the fourth quarter now. Josh Oliver throws to the sideline. I thought Wilkins was going to jump that one right there. Instead, it's a gain of 17 and a first down. Oliver now in the pocket. Will throw to left side, one-on-one, -on -one, and it's going to be caught. Chris Washington had a chance to make that play. Instead, it's caught by Justin Miller. So here they are now, fresh set of downs, six and a half minutes to go. Oliver in the pocket. He loads up, throws this one to the end zone. Touchdown, Nate Givens. Oh, my goodness, another big play. And now TCU is up in this game. Here is Darian Bernard, though, back from injury. He looks good, flying down the sideline. 76-yard return all the way to the 31-yard line. Great field position on this drive. Potter rolls to the right side, throws across the middle. That is going to be caught Flint Steele for a gain of 16 yards. Excellent throw by Potter. Displaying the accuracy once again in this game. Here is a draw play. Livenhauser just hasn't been able to really break free in this one. As that brings it to a second and eight. Here's a throw to the right side. Flint Steele, gain of nine. He's over 100 yards with four catches for 114, and now we're inside the five. Here is Frankie Law, handoff, and he gets to about the inch yard line. They don't give it to him on that one. Third and goal. Law stays into the game. Handoff right back to him. It's a touchdown. One yard out. Another lead change in this game is going back and forth. Two minutes to go. Can the red shirt freshman Josh Oliver come back in this one? He throws a screen pass to the left side. That's Stratton who gets absolutely flattened for a loss of one yard. Now they bring it to a third and six. Throw into left side. It's Rowe who fights off a tackler, and he does pick up the first down. Washington could not bring him down before the first down marker. Good strength right there shown by the tight end. Here is Oliver throwing to the right side. It's Gray. He picks up a huge gain of 35, beating Namdi Ugana Okafor on the coverage, his first catch of the game. Now they're inside the 20. Oliver throws about to the five-yard line. Corey Clark fights off a defender and gets to about the three. First and goal, 55 seconds left. Here is a handoff. Stratton breaks a couple of tackles, almost breaks out of that. 
James Wilkins is there for the stop. They hurried up to the line now with one timeout left, and they're just going to spike this one at the one. Third and goal. Oliver throws to the flats. Wide open man. Thomas breaks a tackle and gets tattooed. Jamarcus Lexington just does not give up on this play. And how about Washington at least just holding him up and we get the big hit and TCU settles for three to tie this ball game up. 25 seconds to go. Here is a quick throw to the right side. Mike Marone's got it. We will hurry it up to the line. We have only one timeout remaining. 25 seconds to go. Potter throws to the right side. It's Stan McDaniels. He's got it to about the 39, a gain of 15. He also gets out of bounds. So here we are across the 50 at the 39. Quick throw, and that's Kentrell. Gain of 13 yards, and it's a first down throw. His fifth catch of the game. 16 seconds left. Here's a pitch play. Levin Hauser tries to pick up some more yardage, and we lost four. The clock is going to run here, and we're just going to let it run all the way down to three seconds. We're going to bring in the field goal unit. This is Justin Caputo in for a 47-yarder here, and the hold is good. The kick to the left, but will it curve in? It's going to be good. CTU escapes Texas with a victory to improve to 4-1. and one. What a kick by Justin Caputo. I was not sure that was going to make it, but it did. A nice comeback effort here by your Lions, and the Horn Frogs will go home with a loss. I guess we'll stay home with a loss. David Potter, a pretty good game today, but we needed all of our team to win this one. That last play by Washington and Lexington was just magnificent, just the effort by some of these guys. Those are the plays that win us ball games, and it's the reason why I love these sliders because I can't pick my own plays. That gives you a huge advantage in this game. You kind of had to give what they give you, and you kind of had to roll with it, no matter if you disagree with the play call, and that definitely gives you kind of a sim style of play. And these games are just magnificent. Three-point victory here versus a two and three TCU team. We get our fifth win of the season here. Josh Oliver was actually very, very good. He did throw another interception in this game for 10 on the year, but he was actually not bad in this game. And even given that five-point QB accuracy boost on the sliders, just five points makes a difference. Some recruiting updates. Scotty Smith Jr., one of our subscriber prospects, commits to Army. David Kane goes to Air Force officially. But we do add another quarterback to our roster next season, Josh Best, who is a dual-threat quarterback. He has 78 speed, 85 throw power, which is actually pretty good, 71 throw accuracy. That will need to improve. But I like what I see from him. He has good strength, good stamina, good agility. He can run the option. That's what I've been looking for. Jamal Fisher, the number one recruit in the country who was considering CTU at the beginning of the season, but ultimately decides to go to Oklahoma, the team we lost to in the BCS Bowl last year. And that recruit actually puts them at the number one class so far through the first six weeks. They have five total recruits. And we are down at 53 with five total as well. We have one four-star, two three-stars, and two two-stars. A good start to recruiting for us, though. But we do lose a couple of recruits, a couple of recruits as well. We only move up one spot in the rankings, but that's all right. We keep winning. We'll keep moving up. BJ Johnson is now entering the Heisman watch. He is third on the list after a huge bounce back game. And he also wins NCAA player of the week. And what I want to do, I want to start covering these guys more. I'm going to start giving boosts to NCAA player players of the week, no matter what team they're on. So I will go through those. I'll probably highlight that at the beginning of next episode. And next week, we will have the doubleheader episode. I thought it would be this time through Texas, Texas Christian and Texas Tech. But now I'm going to have T Texas Tech as the first game of the next episode. It won't be long. I'm probably going to show shorter highlights of that. And then West Virginia will be the focus game because they are 5-1 and one and a team that we always struggle with. So that's going to do it here in the CTU Dynasty. Let me know what you guys think of that game versus a 2-3 and three te Texas, te Texas Christian team. It was a good one. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned 
Let's get it. Let's go. Boy, all that like Kenan. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tina. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war.